Hello everyone, this is Pampertu. Today I'm going to show you my vintage baby bottle collection. This is most all the baby bottles that I have. I find them at Goodwill and at yard sales mostly. Um, starting in the top corner here, these are all Gerber square type bottles made with the soft clear plastic. Um, I have a few of those clear ones and a couple blue, green, and lighter blue colors. Some of these are from the 90s. Um, I think possibly these ones are from the 80s, but I'm not sure on these. They're not dated, and I don't see them in stores today, so I don't think those are made anymore, but they are the soft plastic. Um, these two are still in production. They're little square bottles. Here's a, a Nook baby bottle. It's made with that um, soft plastic also. On the second row, I'm going to show you my printed baby bottles. These ones are mostly all clear, uh, no longer in production. This is the clear type plastic that contains uh, BPA. This one has a bear on it. Here's one with duckies, another one with duckies. And spiral indentation. That one's really cool. Here's one with... Uh, giraffes and monkeys, a clown, there's a Winnie the Pooh one, a uh, ballerina, um, I forget little, what are those called, little cry princess things, I don't know what they are, I think they're religious though, I have two of those, um, here's a neat one, this one's from 1988, this one has a date on it, it says, Cherbs Collection, the date on that one, 1988. Here's a neat one I found. It says Cutie Pie and Baby. I love this clear plastic. They're my favorite types. This one with little animals. Here's a newer one. This one is a BPA free, lead free. I think that's funny that they put that on there. It's not cute at all. It's more for the, the parents. Um, here's some no longer in production. These are the Even Flow clear plastic and I have a few of those I think these were stopped stopped being uh, sold in 2006 or 2007 that's when they banned that type of plastic here's a purple one um, here's a vintage one this is from the 70s or early 80s it's an even flow it's really neat because the bottom oh there's a little symbol there it has a 7 stamped in it but I don't know what that means. It says made in the United States. Here is uh, another vintage one. It's, it's the soft plastic that's uh, not, not clear. This was before they started producing these ones. They used it out of this material. Uh, but the current ones, these are what they make today. It's, it's now the BPA free, but it's um, a little thinner and you can see through it sort of. It's not as, not as thick as these nice old ones. Um, here, one of my favorite shape baby bottles are the ones with the little handle built in. Um, I have three of these. These two I bought at Albertsons in 2003. This one I found at the Goodwill. This is also clear plastic. And it has little sunshine and bees and a cat. Um, here's the ones that are made for feeding uh, newborns. They have to be in this angle. So you feed them like that. And the picture's right there. Uh, is that Fuzzy from the Muppet Babies? Fuzzy Bear? I can't remember his name. Here's another one with Blue's Clues. This was made in 1999. Those ones were probably early 90s. Um, this style bottle, these are made by Playtex. These are the ones where you put the bag inside and um, you just throw, you throw away the inside liner and it's a lot, a lot more sanitary. Um, because it's easier to clean. All you need to clean is the nipple. The bag can be thrown away and this part never gets dirty. And they still sell the bags. Here's one mint in the package. Still sealed. Um, the date on that one uh, is most likely going to be early 90s. But I got lots of those kind. Here's a date on here. This, says this one says 1994. But that's the general age of these styles. The early mid 90s. This one's my favorite. Space Cat. 
And here's a modern version of those with that newer plastic. Here I have three of four. This was a, a, a four pack that you bought in the early 90s of uh, um, the Warner Brothers characters made by Gerber. I found these all at separate locations and I'm missing one more. And I, can't, I don't know who the character is but this was originally a four pack that you had to get. Uh, that's Tweety Bird, Sylvester, that's my favorite one because he's, he's so cute. There's 1993 on that. And see it's starting to flake off so I had to be very careful washing these. And uh, Daffy Duck, or I think that's the same Daffy. Um, here is my Pepsi baby bottle. I ordered this on eBay. I also have one almost identical to this that's a 7-Up. I can't seem to find it right now. But they did make a 7-Up, a, a Dr. Pepper, a Pepsi, and a few other uh, soda printed bottles. This was made in 1992, back when it was acceptable to put soda in a baby bottle. Today, uh, parents would be looked down upon if they did that. But I remember when I was a baby, I drank uh, Dr. Pepper out of one of these. I have a picture of it somewhere. But uh, there you go. Most of my uh, baby bottle collection ranging from the late 70s to today. Here's my drawer full of nipples. Um, I've sanitized all these uh, because I get them in usually large lots or sometimes with the bottle. Um, it's a good idea to boil them for 10 minutes so all this in here is currently sanitized and can be reused. Um, sometimes I find grab bags at Goodwill of just tops and pieces so when I find uh, bottles missing their top I can uh, always put something on there that'll fit. Um, you can get these at the Dollar Tree or any dollar store in your area in six packs. Um, these are the bigger ones for uh, Playtex make, uh, makes a bottle that takes this size. Like, oh, here's a couple of my sippy cups. My dad got me this one for Christmas. There's a really neat one. This one changes. Here's a vintage one. This is from 19, uh, 1997. Has a mouse with cheese. I like this one the best out of all the sippy cups. But there you go.